Hey everybody, I um, thought I'd do a varnishing video, because why not? <laughs> but I've got um, one of my oil paintings I did. Um, this is Millie. And um, here's my supplies I have. Container to put my varnish in. This is a cheap little synthetic brush that I'll use to take the excess off. This is my varnishing brush. And I'm using Gamvar. I don't know if you can see it okay. I don't want to tip it up. I got it opened because, but it's actually um, really good because this will let your, your oil painting keep drying even after you varnish it. So you just want to make sure it's dry to the touch. Um, if you have thicker parts on it, you know, you'll, you test it with your nail to see to make sure there's no give in them and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is. This is exciting for me. I don't normally varnish and I'm new to oil painting. So we're doing this together for the first time. Yay. So I'm going to pour up a bit of Gamvar in my little container here. It's probably more than I need, but I'm planning on actually oiling, uh, varnishing three pieces. So the point of varnishing is basically it'll protect the pitcher. Um, it has all kinds of protectants in it. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to protect your artwork. And another really cool thing about it is it will actually make your colors pop, which when I do um, the next uh, painting, I'm hoping you'll really be able to see because it's a black dog and you'll be able to see like, boom, you know, Woo! so I'm just going to put a bit on my brush. Um, some people pour their varnish on their paintings. I heard that's not necessarily a good thing to do because you don't get an even coat. So I'm going to do it this way. And... Here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. So I'm going to go down first. Oh my. Wow. Can you see that? See how the stuff pops already? Wow. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to get to her eyes because that's where you'll really see it. Now I'm using a um, gloss. I am not a fan of shiny things. Um, oh, look. See what happened to her eyes then? Did you see that? Wow. Um, I'm not a fan of shiny things, but the gloss gives the best, um, pop of color. Can you, can, like, you can really see, I hope you can see it on the video right here, the difference. Like, holy cow, Batman. But to help but take off some of the gloss, I learned a trick from the same artist who actually owns this puppy dog, who, um, I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna go in both directions. Get right down. Oh, wow. Yeah, this really helps, doesn't it? So I learned a, a trick from the artist who actually owns this puppy and who I've been doing some oil painting with. And that's what this second brush is for. This will actually help remove some of the excess. So it won't be as shiny because I really don't like shiny things. So, and then you just scrape out the excess on the side. Now you can, you can kind of see There. Well, I'm pleased with that. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna also do the black dog next. Stay tuned. <laughs> 